Anytime the moon is up, it's worth looking at its darkened edges. You'll be surprised at how 3D it really looks. You'll see mountain peaks casting shadows and bold relief along the crater rims. The moon orbits Earth once every 27 and one-third days. So we see a continuously changing view as the dark shadow line marches across the rugged landscape. The moon goes through several phases over the course of the month, from new to full. And contrary to what you might think, full moon is the absolute worst time to be looking at the moon. And the reason is there's no shadows and the moon looks very flat. You don't see any craters, any mountain ranges. Uh, it's just very featureless. The best time is during the crescent phase or first quarter. Crescent phase, you'll see a, a shape like this. First quarter, it's a flat side. That's a great time to be looking along the day-night side of the moon. And you'll see an immense amount of detail there because the shadows are coming in at an angle. The craters pop out. The mountain ranges seem to be floating above the surface. It's very detailed, uh, very detailed when you look at the moon during its phases. But when you're looking at a full moon, the light comes straight down on top and you really don't see a thing. Start with low power and sail the large, dark lunar maria, seas of ancient lava. Trace the long, bright rays splashing out of the larger craters. Then, switching to your high-power eyepiece, peer into the craters to see smaller craterlets. And try to follow a few of the snaking rills, once filled with flowing lava. Look at the face of Earth's natural satellite and see a picture book history of asteroid and comet impacts, a story more than four billion years long. Of course we can view the moon when it's full. It's just rather bright and we don't get quite as many uh, shadow details. A very useful aid for observing the moon is going to be a simple lunar filter and all this is going to do is shade down the amount of light coming through the telescope just so it's more comfortable to view the moon. Otherwise it can be rather bright and you can actually get a glaring effect where it becomes uncomfortable and difficult to see any uh, uh, detail on the moon. So I'm just simply going to thread the moon filter onto the barrel of the eyepiece and place it into the diagonal just as I normally would, secure it in place. I may have to refocus a little bit when I add the filter, but this is going to make the moon a lot more comfortable to view because the filter is shading down the light significantly so I can view it with better ease. Thank you.